Hi everyone, this is Daniel at QNAP and I'm here to talk about Virtualization Station 3.2. What 3.2 offers is a new feature called PCIe Pass-Through. This is similar to GPU Pass-Through, but GPU Pass-Through is just for GPUs where PCIe Pass-Through will allow you to connect a wide variety of PCI devices to your VM. Also, we have significantly improved our ability to import and export to other hypervisors. So what PCIe Pass-Through can do for you, it can allow you to offload CPU computing, directly connect uh, to external equipment to reduce network traffic. For example, you could connect a GPU for doing uh, maybe rendering, uh, image processing. You could connect a SAS or fiber channel card um, to connect to other storage devices without needing to use your network. You could connect to a USB stable streaming device to have a more stable stream with less issues. Also, with uh, Virtualization Station 3.2, we have significantly improved our ability to import and export to VMware ESXi, VMware Workstation, and VirtualBox. So I'd like to uh, talk a little bit more about PCIe Pass-Through because I think it's going to be a very helpful feature. In the past, we had GPU Pass-Through. This allowed you to connect a GPU uh, to your VM so that your VM can have hardware acceleration, maybe you're running Adobe Premiere or something, and uh, need to do rendering. Whatever it is, uh, this could, could give some more functionality to your VM. But now that we have PCIe pass-through, we could still, still pass through a GPU, but we can also pass through many other PCIe devices. So, for example, uh, you could use a GPU if you're running Adobe Premiere in a VM, maybe do uh, some rendering, or if you want to run TensorFlow or Cafe, uh, maybe do some computing. With a SAS card or a fiber channel card, you could connect to other kinds of storage devices without using your network, and you could connect a stable streaming device through a USB stable streaming device. An example of how PCIe pass-through can help uh, lighten the load on your CPU is in this case here. We were doing some transcoding in a VM and the CPU went up to 68% because CPUs aren't that great at transcoding in general. Then we passed through a GPU and uh, the CPU went down to 21%. So what this means is your VM should run faster, be more snappy, more responsive because uh, the CPU won't be as bogged down. Also you can do more with your VM because your VM will have that hardware acceleration, so, th so there'll be more apps that you could run effectively, uh, like Adobe Premiere, for example. And also, if each VM requires uh, less CPU power, you could potentially run more VMs on your NAS. So some, reason for, some reasons for wanting to use PCIe pass-through are to offload CPU computing resources, to directly connect to external equipment to reduce network traffic and boost efficiency of data transfers, and also uh, provide hardware acceleration for applications running in VMs. This is a picture of uh, the different ways that a VM on your NAS can connect to other devices in your office or wherever your NAS is. So for example, you can connect through the virtual switch to your NAS folders, or iSCSI LAN, also connect through the virtual switch to your network to connect to uh, your PC or other servers, but also with PCIe pass-through at the same time you can directly connect through maybe SAS, Fiber Channel, or other PCIe devices to other kinds of storage equipment. And uh, one advantage of this is that these uh, PCIe direct connections don't need to use your network. So your network doesn't get as bogged down and you might find that your network just runs runs faster so that your other devices on your network just start performing better. The other thing worth, worth mentioning is that now there's more uh, different ways that a VM can connect to a device. And what that means is there's more devices that your VM can connect to. For example, a lot of uh, tape drive systems I've seen might use fiber channel and instead of just standard Ethernet. Well now it's not really a problem to uh, connect your VM to those kinds of tape drive systems. So uh, this should help your VM have more functionality, easier to use, more versatile, and it should help your network run faster. So this should be a very uh, useful feature. Uh, should make VMs very useful in a QNAP. 
And the good news is it's pretty easy to use. First thing you want to do is just consider uh, the length, width, height of your PCA device. Just ask yourself, can it fit inside your NAS? So just where your PCIe slot is, is there enough physical space for the card to fit inside? If it does fit, plug it in, open up Virtualization Station, and select that PCI device to just pass it through to the VM. Then launch the VM and install the driver. And um, if, you're, if you have, say, a Windows VM, for example, Windows has excellent driver support for many PCI devices. So there should be a lot of devices that you could connect to a VM, and this should be pretty easy. So um, besides the, uh, what you can do with PCIe pass-through to make VMs more useful on a QNAP, we've also made it easier to bring VMs to your QNAP or bring your QNAP VMs to other hypervisors. So we can import and we can export to uh, VMware Workstation Pro, VMware vSphere, um, and, VM and VirtualBox. Now in the past, we could also import and export to these hypervisors, but only to the lower versions of these hypervisors. So in the past, we could only go up to uh, vSphere 5 and below and import export to VMware Workstation 8, 9, and 10, and up to VirtualBox 4. And the reason for this uh, limited ability uh, was because we only supported the legacy BIOS. And uh, these other hypervisors had a proprietary HDD drive image format upgrade, and our legacy BIOS did not support that uh, upgrade. But now we're able to import and export up to VMware vSphere 6, VMware Workstation 15, and uh, VirtualBox up to 5. And we're able to do this because we have upgraded our QEMU version, and we're able to support that proprietary HDD drive image format upgrade. Something else we've added with uh, Virtualization Station 3.2 is the ability to convert a VM image from one format to another. So this can help with the importing or exporting process. We can convert a VMDK, a VHD, a VHDX, and a VDI. And something else that we've also added the ability to do is that once you've converted a VM image, you can mount that image on a different VM. So let's say, for example, you have Windows running in Virtualization Station and you have Windows on VMware and you want to import your data from the Windows on VMware where you can convert the VMware Windows image. You can take the VMware converted image, mount it on your Windows running in, Q in a Virtualization Station and now your Windows in Virtualization Station can actually access the data from that, that VM image that you just converted. So one VM could now access the data from both VMs. So this can make it easier to import data over. Uh, it's also with the potential of maybe not needing to run as many VMs at once if one VM can access the data from both. So this should also be uh, pretty useful. And I think all these features together should help make you know, QNAP a great place to run your VMs. But as a general recap, we support uh, PCIe pass-through now, which can allow you to attach like a SAS fiber channel card, USB card, uh, many other cards, and graphics cards to allow your VM to connect to many devices or have hardware acceleration. And uh, we uh, can import and export up to VMware ESXi 6, VMware Workstation Pro 15, VirtualBox 5, and we can convert a VMDK file, a VHD, a VHDX, and a VDI file to make um, importing and exporting easy. One notice, though, is that Virtualization Station 3.2 requires QTS 4.4 or above. Also, just a caution before purchasing the PCIe card, you want to ensure that the PCI device can be installed in, in your NAS. So just for example, will the card require extra power, more than what your PCI slot can deliver? Um, will the card physically fit inside your NAS? And ensure that there is a driver for this card in your VM. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I think our new upgrades to Virtualization Station 3.2 makes QNAP an excellent place to run your VMs not only because of our improved features, but when you use Virtualization Station, you don't have to pay any licensing fees, and you can save the cost of having to buy a VMware server. 
So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you're able to make good use out of this. Thank you.